Hi, Serafina here from Fina Makes, and in this video, I'm going to go through how you can use an existing bodice block and adapt it to fit yourself. You don't have to start from scratch every time. I really, really do. What you'll need are your own measurements. You'll then need to know how to measure the block that you're going to be adapting, and then I'll take you through how to change the block so that it fits you. I'm going to show you the bodice measurements on this mannequin and then depending on who you're making it for, yourself or somebody else, you want to get those measurements for yourself and then list them. I'm going to show you the circumference measurements first, that's to say the measurements that go around the body, then I'm going to show you the length measurements. So starting with the circumference measurements, the first one is the obvious one, the bust. That's where pretty much everyone starts. So you want to go round the bust at its fullest part. Make sure the tape measure is parallel. My mannequin's a bit slippery. Make sure the tape measure is parallel to the waist and to the ground, and then make a note of that measurement. Next, you want to take the waist measurement. So this is the narrowest part. If you're not sure where the waist is, tie a piece of elastic around your waist and move. Where the elastic settles is where your natural waist is. It's often a lot higher than people think, so don't try and measure it around the top of the, your jeans because that's not where your waist is, and it's not at your belly button either. It's higher than that. It's at the base of the ribs. So you want the narrowest part of the waist measurement. This is where all blocks anchor to, and so it's really important to get that in the right place. Next up, to get a really good fit, we want to take the underbust measurement. So this is where the bra band sits, just under the bust. Again, make sure your measurement is parallel to the ground and to the waistline. If you're measuring yourself, you can stand sideways on and check in a mirror to make sure that everything's level and make a note of that measurement. You can also take the overbust measurement. This is particularly important if your bust cup is bigger than a C. This is because you're probably going to have to do a full bust adjustment to a block. What you don't want is to increase the bust and the waist and then everything else is too big. So if you've got a bust cup that's bigger than a C, I would advise doing a full bust adjustment to your block first and then carrying out the adaptations that I'm gonna show you later on in the video. So the overbust, she doesn't have any arms, but it travels under the arm, over the bust and across the chest. So it comes around and then over this part. Take quite a snug measurement because you want it to fit you. This measurement won't be parallel it naturally will drop down slightly at the back. That's fine. Next, you wanna take some across measurements. So we want the cross chest and we want the cross back. Cross chest is here to here. It's like, it's a little tickly bit on, on the side of your chest. You know, there's like a little tendon there, kind of where the arm joins the torso. So we wanna measure across here and just take that measurement. For the cross back, it's the same position on the back. So it's where the arms join the body across the shoulder blades at the back. And you wanna go all the way around the shoulder blades to make sure that you have enough room. Because obviously we bend there and we wanna be able to expand and lean forwards and things like that. So you wanna take a measurement right the way around the shoulder blades. That's your cross back measurement. Next, you can take an armhole circ measurement. So I'm gonna show you on myself, because she doesn't have any arms. What you wanna do is bring the tape measure, you can hold it in place with your chin if you're measuring yourself, bring it round and tuck it under the arm. You want quite a snug measurement because you wanna make sure that you're not gonna have massive armholes. You can always make them bigger, but it's really hard to make them smaller. So you wanna get quite a tight measurement round the arm but making sure it follows the curve of the body rather than slips off and goes around the arm. If you're not sure, if you've got a top or a dress or something that fits you, you can measure the armhole of that and then use that. But make sure that it has a seam that sits at the shoulder bone and doesn't travel further in because you'll get a bigger measurement. Next, you wanna take the neck circumference. So this is around the base of the neck. What you want here, again, I'm gonna show you on myself, because it's easier to see on me because I have a head attached to my neck, is you want it to be kind of like a collar. So it wants to sit at the clavicle, round the back of the neck, scoop round the front. I'm not measuring up here, that's on my neck. I'm measuring 
further down where my neck joins my body. So you want to have that kind of a shape. That's what you're aiming for with the neck circ. Next we go for length measurements. So two of the most important measurements are your nape to waist back and your nape to waist front. So the nape is the bone at the back of the neck. Nape to waist back is from the bone here down to your waist. If you are measuring yourself, put the waist elastic on. It's really important that you know exactly where your waist is. You don't want to get a different measurement because you're going to end up throwing your block out of whack. So pop that there and measure down to the waist. As an average guideline, the average size 12 nape to waist measurement is around 39, 40 centimeters. I'm almost six foot, mine is 43. So if you're getting 43 and you're about five foot, it might be a little bit too long. Having said that, it also depends on your torso length. So some people are longer in the body, other people are longer in the leg. So if you're not sure, if you get something wildly out of those figures, measure it again and get somebody else to check just to make sure. Next we go for nape to waist front. So for this measurement, you wanna put the tape measure at zero on the nape of the neck and bring it round the side. So what you don't wanna do, if, especially if you're measuring yourself, don't look. You wanna stand up straight and just hold the tape measure at the back there. Bring the tape measure around the side of the neck, bring it over the bust and take it down to the waist level and make a note of what that is. This is a really good way of also figuring out if you need to do a full bust adjustment. Whilst you're doing that measurement, so you wanna go down to the waist and take that, also mark where your bust point is as well, because you're gonna to need to know that depth too from the nape. The next measurement you want is the armhole depth. So this is from the nape down to the level that your arms join your body. As an average estimate, this figure should be around 18 to 22 centimeters. If you get something wildly out of that, it's probably not quite right. So double check and ask someone else to measure too. If you're measuring yourself, something you can do is tie a piece of string around your shoulders. I'm gonna use this tape measure here and just show you what I mean. So we pass it round and then round the neck. You can do this with a piece of elastic and then it will stretch with the body. But basically what you wanna do is measure from the nape of your neck down to the tape measure. So you can hold the tape measure, bring, hold the tape measure at the nape, slightly cack handed as you can see, bring it down to the tape measure and then have a look at that measurement. So mine is 22, I'm almost six foot. So that gives you an idea of the kind of number that you're aiming for. The final measurement we need is bust point to bust point. So this is nipple to nipple. Measure that and make a note of what that is. Now you've got all your measurements together, I'll show you how you can adapt your bodice block.